Earlier in today's program, we learned about the planning process for bathroom remodeling. We also saw how the advice of a professional can help you through the selection process for tile, plumbing fixtures, and all the products that encompass a bath remodel. Now let's head back out to our completed 1920s bathroom remodeling project with our contractor and designer, Mike Webster. Wow, did this turn out beautiful. It's amazing what you can do with a small bathroom place with a little design forethought. Thank you, Stu. Well, you did a great job. Now, I know that the homeowners wanted to maintain that vintage 1920s motif, and it looks to me that they were able to do it. How was how that accomplished? Well, we did it in several ways. Uh, first, in the wall tile, you'll notice the 3x6 uh, subway laid tile, which was common from that period, with just a very simple accent straight and a chair rail molding to wrap everything up. Well, I know when you were talking about the tile, what they were going to put in here, I had a hard time visualizing, is the tile going to go up to the ceiling? How are they going to do a transition if it doesn't? I love the bullnose coming along here. Thank you. And if you remember, the faucet in the um, previous bathroom was over on the left-hand side, making a complication with the shower curtain. We changed the faucet to the right-hand side, providing more access to the tub, and that also solved, as you can see, the shower curtain issue. Sure, because if you didn't have one that turned, you'd still have the problem with water coming up, but this was able to do it. Again, working with a professional, experienced designer, you were able to overcome that relatively easily? Yes. You'll also notice, Stu, that we added some safety features with the grab bars. Boy, I like that, and as we all age, gracefully. You don't want to be slipping as bones get more brittle, that's for sure. One other thing I noticed, it looks like this is vintage handles. Were you able to find those in a catalog? Well, those handles actually came from the screen porch in this house from 1921. These are the actual ones? They're not replicas? They're the actual glass porcelain handles. Oh, I just love the way the design is all tying together. And then also the window, that wasn't the same as before. It was all glass before. No, we added the uh, obscure glass window, and that glass came from the state capitol from the early 1900s. Our state capitol. Somebody salvaged it, and they were able to incorporate it into their window. And not only the window, also into the cupboard? That's right. The window was the homeowner's idea. They found the glass, and I suggested they also do it into the cupboard. I just love the way this is all coming together. Now, the fixtures they went with, they seem to really fit the space. I remember when we initially came in here, it looked pretty cluttered. The old bathroom had a proportional problem with the sink and the mirror and the toilet. The sink was way too large. The mirror was way too large. We downsized that to make it fit. And downsizing it didn't reduce the functionality. As a matter of fact, it just seems to be a bigger space with a little bit smaller fixtures. And something else has given it a bigger space. To me... Was it that the door got moved from one side to the other? Because didn't when we walked in before, that was one thing I noticed. I said, Whoa, where am I going? Because the door is on this side. That's right, Stu. We changed the swing of the door from this side to this side to open the bathroom, to make it feel larger, to improve the line of sight. Well, you certainly <laughs> accomplished that goal. Out at the Professional Tile Showroom, we talked about the tile they selected. It's perfect for the floor. Now, what type of tile was this again? This is a natural stone marble tile in a basket weave that you saw from that 1920s period. So again, the era, the motif, the style, the end result, this all comes together. Another thing with the old floor, it cracked right along here. Do we have to worry about that in the future? No longer. We took all the subflooring out right down to the joists. We re-poured a two-inch concrete substrate under this tile so it would be flat as well as last for 50 years. Boy, and so they have peace of mind, not only with this beautiful new bathroom, but also the other one that you did for them. Yes, we had the opportunity to update one in the basement for them and make some changes down there as well. Well, why not? When you think about how valuable a bathroom is in your everyday life, you might as well have one that's comfortable and meets your expectations. And one thing I really learned in this show is the value of working with a professional, and not just one professional, a professional who has a team around them. The team starts with the homeowner, working with the contractor, working with the plumber, the electrician, the heating man, everybody working together to get one end result like you see here. Well, it doesn't get any better than this in my eyes. It's just beautiful. I appreciate you and the homeowners allowing us to follow along in the process. Thanks, Stu, for coming out and taking a look at it. Now here are some key points to help summarize today's show. 
One of the best investments you can put into your home is a newly remodeled bathroom. Chances are you'll use it every day, and why not treat yourself to a new, comfortable, functional, and relaxing bathroom? Remember to select products that your remodeling contractor is confident installing. Seek their advice about style, function, and price, and if they logically fit into your project. And finally, work with a contractor who has design experience and understands how all of your bathroom remodeling components are being installed. They should work closely with a team of qualified trade professionals, and you should know who they are before your project starts. Well, we're all out of time for this week's show. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again next time on today's Home Remodeling. Cut. The preceding program was sponsored by the Today's Home Remodeler Television Network.